Hey everybody, my name's Kip and you're watching America Bumper to Bumper. Today we have a 1980 Corvette and it is owned by Kevin and we're going to bring him in here we're going to talk a little bit about the car because he's actually looking to sell this thing. So uh, let's bring Kevin in and let's uh, talk a little bit about it. Good. How's it going Kevin? Good. Great. Me too. Not too bad. Going great. Uh, hey, uh, how long have you owned the car? I bought the car in 2011. Okay. Um, it had uh, 94,630 miles on it. And I've only put on 1,710 miles since then, so it's about 245 miles a year. Wow! Um, it's I, it's never been it's never been in the rain. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here oh, in Vermont. I love it. But uh, it's it's just this particular kind of car. You can only drive in Vermont, you know, a certain time of the year. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it's time to it's time to downgrade and and move on. So. Uh, I hate parting with it, but I've, I've enjoyed having it. It's just now time to time to move on. Yep, time for somebody else to uh, somebody to live the Corvette to enjoy dream. it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Did you bought it this way? I bought it with I bought it with the with the uh, with the ninety four thousand from a guy locally who brought the car in. I understand from Arizona, so it doesn't have any rust on it. Oh, yeah. If I think I took some photos and shared them with you of the yep. undercarriage, yes, I did see those. so yeah. it's it's very clean. Um, we'll add those it, in. Uh, it's certainly, in I mean, the, it's a beautiful color as far as this blue green metallic kind of, of uh, color itself. And yep. the thing about the '80 is that this particular era with the C3s, this was called the shark nose. Uh -huh. And then around '81, '82, Corvette got rid of the shark, of shark nose and basically flattened out. For the C4? Good. For the C4 series. So this is really kind of, as they said, the, kind of the last. You may have seen the C2s where it was kind of like the, the traditional court, the oh, stingrays. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, yeah. they kept that in there, but then, and then kept that shark nose in there. Oh. So you get this long front end and a very short back end. Uh, the way this was very classic for the Corvettes. Cool. Now the uh, rims uh, original uh, to the car, have you upgraded it at all since I, you owned I bought, it? I, I haven't done anything as far as upgrading this vehicle. Um, I put brakes on it, and that's been about it. The, Great. These are alloy rims that uh, I think these originals that came with the car. The previous owner had actually put these put these on uh, and put new tires on. But pretty well, you're you're dealing with a car that it's just about all original. When we look at the engine, I can show you some of the things that he he added to it. Let's uh, let's do that. This is the only thing I, I I wanted to replace at one time, but mm -hmm. that's a 350. It's a 350. That is a beautiful, uh, beautiful engine. Like uh, the touch on the uh, the valve covers. And is that? Do you know if that is original to the the vet, or is that something that the? I think the previous owner did that. Added it as part of the. Uh, I think I have the original valve covers in the garage okay. that he gave to me. But I've got a lot of things that he handed over to me, that, like the original air filter in here. Oh yeah. So. Uh, Let's uh, start her up and we'll uh, sure. hear what it sounds like. Very nice. Sounds just like uh, she should. That's good. So my knees can't take getting in the house anymore. 
Yeah, that does definitely look like a, a low slung. Uh, it's, a, it's a split level. The T tops are in the back. Oh. Okay, and it's got. Uh, did this come with uh, uh, the, a glass roof option, no. or was it always no, the, the? It always had the solid T tops. All right, nice. And you can pull those out if you want to pull them out and show them. But ah. no, we're good with that. What he did is he took the. He, I think what he, he took the original radio out and he put in this this Kenwood, which I think he was a little worried about theft. So it's one of these deals where you put it in. Oh, yeah. And then... The 60s, they were the Jefferson Airplane. In the 70s, the Jefferson yep. Starship. Makes in sense. the 80s, they dropped the Jefferson and the Airplane. And just it's got speakers up the front and then it's got two in the back. Uh, and basically, so it has one of these where you can take it with you so nobody can with you, throw it in the gun compartment, yep. lock it up, whatever you want to do. Very nice. Which, yeah. If somebody really wants to take it back to an original, then you'd have to probably buy a radio. Yep. Interior, everything is as original as, as uh, original as it gets. Yeah, let me pull this back out. Seats, everything. Oh, you're 96,000 miles on it. Nice big tack. So get that without the sun, all your different other gauges, and that dash, uh, no splits, no warps. It's always a good thing. Like nice looking carpets, both sides. Excuse my hairy legs. Power windows, three speed, four speed, three speed. This is it's a three speed automatic. Okay. Power windows, locks, nice leather seats, remote mirror. Sounds beautiful. That's that big 350. They definitely don't make that like they, you know, engines sound like they used to. I mean, it's just great sound. I love the, uh, the dual exhaust. It's nice chrome tips. I drive it around uh, the area. I'm always getting thumbs up. And because I don't have a, a, a special plate on it mm -hmm. where it says cause people are always yelling what year and I'd say <laughs> 80 and they go really oh well it's the, the thing is you get you unless you really study the generations of the Corvette you know the the C3 they made this for a long time yeah and uh, you know only if you know about the you know the flat window on the you know up till seventy seven and then the you know then you will you ever know really well, the, what you're looking at. The seventy eight was an anniversary. Seventy eight was the anniversary issue. Yep. And then I don't think they really did that much with the with the eighty. They wanted to keep the, the engine the same in there, the big one. Yep. I don't think they ever went lower than a three fifty uh -huh. um, in the C threes. I've, I've seen something, somebody was trying to sell one with a 305, which, that's... So, this car, this 1980 Corvette, um, as I said in the beginning, it is for sale. The owner, Kevin, is looking at um, $15,000 as a sales price. Uh, I believe that that price is negotiable. Uh, if you have any questions about the car, please email me. You know, my email is in the description, and you can um, ask me any questions, and I will forward them, forward them on to him. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, first one where somebody's actually trying to sell anything, so if you guys are interested, um, again, hit me up.
I will make sure that uh, Kevin knows about it. Um, also, um, if you like this video, hit the uh, subscribe button. Uh, also, the notification bell so you can be on top of new videos when they are being posted. Also, follow us on all of our social media. Um, for those of you who are um, interested in this car, um, this weekend, July 4 uh, 14th, uh, tomorrow, it will be at the Rutland Area Car Show uh, in Rutland, Vermont. You can check out the car there and talk to Kevin uh, firsthand anything else you want about the car. Have a day. Hopefully it's a good one.